guys, it's Chris and welcome back to Haywood Homestead. Today is July, uh, what is today's date? Today is July 6th and I'm going to be doing our first cash envelope stuffing for the month. Um, I'm going to start doing three of these uh, starting this month. So I went to my bank and took some money out and then I'm going to uh, divide it up between our sinking funds. So to go ahead and get started, we'll count how much money we're stuffing today. And um, we'll see what we have and what we're going to be adding. I hope all of you are having a fantastic month so far. It sure is hot in my area of Georgia. Um, work has been okay, but overall we've just been kind of tired. I guess the heat has drained us, um, and we've been trying to, uh, just stay cool, you know, as much as we can. And I, I really feel for the people who have to work out in the heat. I hope if, um, you do, or even if you don't work in it, but you're out in it, that you stay safe and, uh, keep hydrated. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and count our money and we'll get started. So we have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 35, 40. So we have 240 to play with today. All right, so this is the book I use to uh, track our sinking fund amounts um, when we take from them and when we add to them. And so... Opening up, I have um, vacation is our first sinking fund, so that'll be the first one we'll stuff today. All right, so here is my cash envelope binder. Well, actually, um, we do have one envelope here. Amanda, my wife, I give her money periodically uh, so that she'll have cash on her when she wants to use cash. And so I'm actually going to uh, stuff hers first since this is um, the first one in here. All right, so for my wife, uh, for this first stuffing uh, for July, I'm going to be giving her $80. So we'll do 20, let's see, 20, 40, 60, and 80. Put this other cash to the side. All right, and we don't keep track of what I give her and when she spends it and the amount she spends. Um, it's sort of, she keeps, I mean, she does what she wants with it, so. And as always, after I finish filming the video, I will take this money back out of the envelope and give to her, and she can put that in her own wallet. All right, so 80 for Amanda. Next is vacation. This is our first sinking fund. So, I haven't been able to update this, but as you can see in our envelope, this is empty. Um, we were saving to take a five-day cruise at the end of September, and since our last cash envelope stuffing video, I took out the 730 that was in here and paid our cruise off. So, I'm just going to, and I don't remember what date that was, so I'm going to put a line there and put paid off cruise and um, the balance due was I think $730.14 so I took all of that out so we'll do $730 and that left us with a balance of zero so today is the 6th and so since our cruise is paid off we are now starting to save for spending money while we're, um, whether, whether it's on our way to the cruise, um, such as for gas there, uh, anything that we might buy along the way. When we get there, souvenirs, we'll have to pay to park our car for a week while we're cruising. And anyway, that's what our spending is all going to go toward. So today, to start this off, we're going to add a hundred dollars and that will give us a new balance of one hundred dollars. So I'm going to take my hundred dollar bill here. 
I'm hoping that by the time we go at the end of September, we'll have between six and eight hundred dollars to to spend as spending money. Um, that's my goal anyway. And w the good thing about cruises is it's pretty much all inclusive. The only things you'll pay extra for is if you do excursions or if you buy alcohol um, or you buy pictures that are professionally done for you and just extra things like that. Otherwise, all of the food and regular drinks um, are free. So we don't want to take too much, but then again, we don't want to take too little. So I'm going to add $100 to get this started with. And let's see, I think I had it open already. There we go. We're looking forward to our cruise. Um, our house is still being worked on. Uh, the siding has been put on and the shutters and all of that is complete. Um, our builders are supposed to be coming toward the end of the week, maybe starting into next week, doing insulation. And then from that, we'll go into drywall. And so I'll insert a picture here of what our house looks like now since the siding has been done. I do have a um, series called New New Home and Land or New Land and Home series. I can't remember how I have that worded. That you can look in my playlist and watch the videos uh, from where it started to where it is currently. Um, but the picture on here that I just showed is um, the most updated picture. This was taken today. All right, so moving on, um, pet health. So right now in pet health, we have $630. We um, have an appointment this month to get our dogs their annual shots as well as refills on their flea, heartworm, and tick medicines. And we're trying to set up an set up an appointment to have them groomed. So by the time all of that is taken care of, this will be knocked down quite a bit. Um, but today, since we do have such a high balance, I'm just going to add a small amount. So I'm gonna put seven, six for the date, deposit. And today we'll add $5, which should give us $635. And what I really appreciate about sinking funds is even when you can only add a dollar or five dollars like I'm doing today, it does build up over time. Because sometimes you may look at a dollar and say, well, that's not going to move the needle any, so why bother? But like I said, over time, it does, it does matter and it does help build up your savings. So anything you can put toward your sinking fund is a good thing. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a $5 bill from my cash and then we'll count all of the pet health money together. Okay, so we have 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, and $635. So we're good with that for quite a while. And even as I said, we get everything taken care of. We'll still have some money left it won't take it down too bad. So we'll still have a good bit in the sinking fund, which is good. Our next sinking fund we have is gifts. And let me update that. So today deposit, and we're also going to add $5 to this fund as well, which will give us 40. So there's five. And let's count it. So we have 20, 30, 35, 40. $40 for gifts. Okay, moving on. 
um, mortgage principal. So until our house is completely built, we're moved in, um, and then our construction loan will be converted into a, a regular mortgage. Um, we're not able to pay any extra toward the principal of our loan. It's just interest payments we're paying. Um, but when we're able to do that, I want to have a big chunk of money put aside to put straight on the principal so that we go ahead and start knocking it down as soon as the loan starts. So, and today for mortgage, we're going to add, uh, I believe, $20. Uh, $30, excuse me. So that should give us $1,030. So 20 and 30. Okay. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 950, 1,000, 110, and <laughs> that's kind of mixed up, but a 20 makes 30, so 20 and 30. So $1,030 is what we have. Next is our newest uh, sinking fund we have which is car maintenance. And we had quite a few car repairs we had to do in the month of June. And so I'm eager to get this balance uh, built up so that um, I believe the next big thing we'll have to do is for our truck. It's a 2013 GMC Sierra. Um, once it reaches 100,000 miles or around that, I want to get the spark plugs changed in that in the truck as well as um, a general tune-up. And so that's going to be quite a bit of money. Um, when we do oil changes, we're going to just cash flow oil changes for both cars. I'm not going to take from this for that. But if it's any kind of big repair, as long as we have the money for it, we're gonna take it out of here. If not, of course, we'll have to probably pull from our savings account. Uh, but today, for this, we're going to add $20. And this should give us $125. All right, so we have, let's see here, 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 120, and $125. $125. All right, guys, so that is everything, um, all of our sinking funds that we currently have and that we are stuffing for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, thank y'all for your support, as always, to my channel. Please like this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I want to welcome my new subscribers. Thank y'all so much for uh, watching my content and commenting, as you always do. And I will see y'all on my next video. Bye, guys.